I'm super excited about this. Workers logs is now generally available and the new query builder is in beta. If you've ever wanted better visibility into what your workers are doing in production, this update is for you. You now get a single dashboard to view logs and metrics across all your workers and a powerful way to answer the why behind any issue you encounter. The new observability dashboard gives you real-time structured insights into your workers' traffic, including invocation logs, custom logs, errors, and uncut exceptions. Each log entry is a wide event, a single rich snapshot of what happened for a given request. You get the full picture, method, status code, duration, custom fields, and whatever metadata you choose to log. To get started, enable observability in your Wrangler.json file, and once deployed, you start seeing logs and metrics show up right in the dashboard. Let's start by looking at the logs tab for a single worker. Here you can see detailed logs per invocation, what request came in, how it was handled, what the response was, and any structured data you've logged. I built a worker to manage feature flags. If a user reports that they're seeing the wrong experience, I can head to the logs tab click into a specific request and instantly see everything, user ID, method, duration, the flag decision that was made, and any custom log data that I need. This is all made possible with wide event logging, where you emit one structured log per request. A best practice for creating wide events is to log structured JSON objects and not plain strings. For example, right here, I've logged a structured JSON object that includes details about the requests, the user, and the feature flag key, all in one place. Workers logs automatically extract and indexes this field so that you can filter by user ID or flag key instantly. It's the fastest way to segment and explore your data. Now let's switch over to the observability tab. Here you get a unified view of logs and metrics across all your workers. The query builder lets you interact with your logs, visualize trends over time, and drill into specific events when something stands out. For example, you can construct a query to track the count of invocations, median response time for a certain endpoint or the error rates by status code. So I'm going to filter the error rates by status code by selecting the metadata for error. I already created uh, an endpoint in my code that simulates an error. So I'll go ahead and select that and add the filter. Now I can go ahead and save this query, give it a custom name and description, and I can even share this with my team. And for even more flexibility, you can use the observability query API to pull logs into external tools. And this is perfect for exposing logs to your teammates or customers without dashboard access. Would love to see what kinds of queries that you're building. So drop them in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.